Hey guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop. Over three years ago, I released a video unboxing a winch for my ATV and I said in an upcoming video I was going to install it. Well, in this video we're going to install that and some new bumpers. But before we get started, let's watch a little cringy moment from that video. <laughs> Those were the days. All right, guys, let's get started. So there's the rear bumper and yes I didn't have to take that box actually out mine happened to be broken uh, as you saw the the door just fell off when I decided to open it so in this case I decided just to remove it all together because it's pretty much useless unless you just wanted to put it there for looks um, I may end up building something in the back of this at some point I have an idea to to turn that area maybe into a place to store the chainsaw I don't know we'll see but uh, now comes the fun part. Let's install the winch and the front bumper. All right, so I run into um, a little bit of a snag. It turns out that the bumper I have, or I ordered, uh, is for a 2014 Polaris 570 Sportsman. And I think, I thought mine was a 2014, but it might be a 2013, and the mounts are on the side as opposed to the front, and that bumper needs the mounts in the front. And I don't see another bumper, like I can't order one for that, so I think I'm probably going to go all in and just do some modifications myself and make it work. Um, but just note that, you know, this is... Probably a 2014 bumper on a 2013. And the other thing is, I have uh, I had to order a mount for the winch itself. I don't know why I was stupid enough to think that the one that came with it uh, would work. Of course, again, this was three years ago. Um, but um, yes, yeah, so I ordered that, so that will be here uh, tomorrow or something like that. So we'll we'll hook that up. So once I figure that all out, then we'll figure out the bumper. So this is going to get a lot more exciting. <laughs> Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here we are next day, and I've had to dismantle the bumper. Well, not dismantle, but you get the idea. I had to unscrew it, and uh, I ordered the uh, winch mount, and it did come in today. Thank God for one day shipping, and I kind of got it in there. It's just wedged in there right now, 
and I'm going to start hooking up the actual winch now just trying to get everything loosely in there and then I'll start tightening down all the bolts so I think that's the next step is to kind of get the bulk of it in there and then we can start uh, actually attaching all the electrical and all that good stuff so let's uh, let's start there and see where this takes us <laughs> guys so there we go we got all the wiring in place um now we just have to go back and make it all uh, nice and tidy and stuff but it does work as you saw um it's uh hooked up to the key switch so as soon as you turn on the key it turns on this um so you know it won't actually run down the battery and um yeah i'm super happy on how it's working out so far and <clears throat> excuse me let's go ahead and uh just tidy everything up and then we'll we'll take it outside and uh give it a give it a shot <laughs> That was fun um, so yeah uh, I'm excited on how this turned out actually um, the the bumpers are from quad logic the rest of the materials I have uh, came from Amazon I'll leave a, a link down below but uh, yeah this is a game changer for me I mean when uh, logs and trees and limbs and all that stuff fall down in my property I have an easy way of uh, being able to grab a hold of them and snatch them out of the way uh, I can clean up my trails now and off you know obviously just have some fun overall and um, the reason, one of the reasons why I replaced the front bumper is I actually ran into a tree uh, last week, uh, kind of intentionally. I was trying to push over a dead tree and it just ended up cracking the plastic. So I decided to go ahead and go with the metal option. So, but hopefully you guys like that. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>